Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And yes, how to access your desktop over the internet. Now, one of the questions is, why do you want this? What's the reason? Well, it actually allows you to use a computer as if you were sitting in front of it. Now, the computer that you're remoting to will send a video of its desktop to the device where you're connecting to. It's basically, you're able to click and type as you were sitting in front of your computer, which is pretty awesome. Now there's a problem with remoting into your machine over the internet. You're going to get a slight of a delay, which if you have patience, you can deal with it. Now RDP, which is Remote Desktop Protocol, can be used on a lot of major machines like the Mac, Chromebook, iPad, or the Android tablets. And don't forget about PC. Now remoting into your desktop, it actually allows you to use local applications and files stored on your home or work computer from anywhere you are. Now there's a couple of things that you guys need to keep in mind. One, your computer needs to be accessed and on 24-7. Now this could be a problem when you're traveling when you don't have anyone at home monitoring your computer. If not, you might have to use the setup of Wake Up On Land, which is actually configuring your BIOS or spending a little bit of money for a PCI controller card for your computer. Again, you also have to take in mind that delay is an issue. Now, if remoting is a thing that you want to do, remote desktop software is ideal for accessing desktop applications, but not watching video or playing games, which pretty soon I'm going to show you guys how to install one, and I'm going to go over the top five services in the market. Now, what if you want to own your remote desktop server, and you just want to geek it out and configure one for yourself? Well, you need to set up a dynamic DNS, which is a domain name service or server, so you can always access to your computer. You always want to have access to your computer. Now, you also have to set up port forwarding on your router, and I also recommend having a strong firewall blocking the basic D4 ports. Now, this is why I highly recommend using a service than exposing your server to the internet. Now, only, like I said before, there's five services that I actually recommend. And the top five is Windows Remote Desktop, which is very popular on the PC side. VNC Server, which I actually use on the Mac platform, which works very well. TeamViewer, which is very popular and it also has a free version, also a paid version. And you also have Chrome Remote Desktop, which actually came out this year for your Chrome browser, which is an extension or a plugin that you have to install. And the last one is Log Me In, which is very popular, but I really don't recommend it a lot because, again, it has some issues as well as it had a, a pass of being compromised a couple of times by hackers. So like I mentioned before, guys, one of my favorite ones is TeamViewer because, again, it's free and it's so easy to use. And they actually have a, a, a client and a web client. So once you download the installation file, Installing it is really simple. So let's double click on the installation file. You're going to get asked, uh, how do you want to proceed? I'm going to do a basic installation. And how do you want to use the TeamViewer? I normally answer, let's do both. Uh, show advanced settings and we're going to accept. You're going to get nice UAC, which, which is the user account control, which is really known for Windows 8.1. We're going to hit yes. And with TeamViewer 9, you, you're able to do remote print, VPN, which is virtual private network. Uh, you can actually add an add-in within your Outlook. But I'm not going to check everything off. Uh, I'm going to leave everything the way it is and just hit finish. So once the installation is completed, you can get a nice little dialog box, basically give you a rundown of what's what. Uh, I normally hit close. And this that's it, guys. You get your user ID. You get a password that you can actually change or auto-generate one for you. Uh, it gives you a nice little symbol or a sign that you're ready to connect securely. Uh, and then if you want to control another machine, you get the partner ID here. And if you have an account with TeamViewer, which I actually do, so let's log in into that. And I'm going to show you guys how that looks. And there you go, guys. This is how it looks. I have basically a lot of my machines with TeamViewer. I'm able to access it when I'm off the road as, as long as they're on. Again, you got to make sure that your machine is on 24-7. If not, it will not work at all. 
But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on reasons of how or why you need to access your remote computer over the internet. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them right below. And uh, don't forget about hitting that like button. And i catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.